In my own mind, as I look back, I had normalized watching pornography that everybody does it. It, was, it wasn't anything at that point I realized I was even should be ashamed of. So I actually introduced pornography to my wife in our marriage because she trusted me. She went along with it, but that, that eventually met a wall too when some of the deviancy involved went up against her own better judgment and said, this is enough, this, this has got to quit. We sought pastoral counseling to begin with. Um, and to be honest, that didn't really help a whole lot. I was still going back to it, although far less often. I did share my struggles with Julie, with my wife, so she knew. What I feared was going to happen, that the trust that I had destroyed would be further eroded, it actually began to build trust because I was for the first time that she could begin to rely on being truthful with her about everything. And I knew she wasn't going to be happy when I shared that I stumbled, but that was far less painful to her and to, to our healing than if I was just honest with her. One of the significant steps for me was the introduction of Codonize because I realized it wasn't just a piece of software that was between me and recovery. It was me, but I had other friends who cared about me enough to hold my feet to the fire. And it was that accountability and the reminder of who am I really sinning against, the consequences of that, from another brother who loved me to challenge me, really started to turn the tide, and that turned me to the scripture, which was a huge convicting piece in my life. The Word of God just started to turn my heart from stone to flesh. Everything I did around pornography was all about me. It was for my pleasure, my satisfaction, to relieve my stress, to try to improve my sex life in the bedroom with my wife. But it was all it was all centered on me. We were we were well into recovery. I was doing much, much better for a great number of years. But even just two years ago, I was really wrestling with the physical intimacy part of our marriage. There were still times of guilt after we would spend time together. Years after being free from the struggle. My mind was still looking at my wife as an object because I didn't, I hadn't made the intellectual leap from my mind to my heart to how I was viewing my wife physically intimately. That was painful realization that for years I was still looking at my wife wrong. When I shared that with her, the intimacy from her side that grew now is so alive and so vibrant, there's nothing that I can't tell her. And I don't fear how she's going to respond anymore. I didn't realize it could be that way. But God showed me what it was like to be truly transparent and understand who my wife is in his eyes and how I'm to view her. I understood it was by his grace that I'm saved, undeserved favor. I understood that picture intellectually. I try to take my six inch mind and wrap it around it. A gift of God called grace that's about eight or 10 inches in diameter. I can't do it. But when I look at my sin, my pornography path, in light of what it cost Jesus to set me free, that kind of grace is staggering to me. And it's that grace that gives me the spiritual strength to stay sober one day at a time.